Today, our guest is a member of Kerr Civil Society Headquarters, Roshan Hajibeli. Welcome to our studio. Thank you. Today, we'll discuss Kerr flats and preparation to the winter. Were the flat consequences recovered recently? I wasted flood damaged villages including Qasim Bayli and Asghar Bayli in Sabirabad and Nawruzlu Mirsali Dallar villages in Satli. There were no preparations for winter at all. No measure was taken at all. In Nawruzlu village, a settlement similar to a military camp was built. But the construction of houses here is not complete. In other villages, no construction is underway. In some villages, only basements of the houses are ready. Under the decree of the ministerial cabinet, the construction of houses should have been finished by October 9. And it was logical because winter was approaching and the houses should have been built up to the arrival of autumn. But where do the residents live now? How are they going to spend the winter? Some live with their relatives. Some live in their damaged houses. I visited them all. They are waiting for measures to be taken. You know, there could be problems in construction. Uh, it's possible, but the main problem is with compensation. The people have not been provided with the compensation funds yet. How many people have not been provided with compensation yet? But 30% of the people has been provided with compensation. For example, 131 of uh, 378 households in Dalila village have been provided with compensation. A number of residents from the flood zone came to Baku for complaining. They claim that the construction of houses is delayed or the built constructed houses are very small. Why are the people disappointed with the new houses? There must be a different approach here. For example, in Nauruzlu village, the houses are built densely. But it's not the case in other villages. Anyway, the newly built houses are small. It's clearly seen. The residents White houses were replaced with small houses. What about the area of houses and are they supplied with the communications, water, energy, gas? In many villages, there are not new houses that you could speak of any supply. But I look at some ongoing constructions which don't include bathroom or lavatories. I talked to some residents, they didn't want to move to new settlements. They are disappointed with their location, lack of household supplies, lack of infrastructure. What is the problem? What is the reason for lack of these elements? It is difficult to say the reason. It should be explained by the government op officials. The construction of new so-called military settlement is pointless. There is a great distance between the residents' houses and planting areas. They have to use makeshift vehicles to reach their planting areas. And what about the employment of residents? Opening of new jobs. The new jobs for the residents are their constructions. By the way, the construction is carried out by the Garachai company. This company allegedly belongs to emergency minister Kamalatin Haydarov's brother in law. No tender has been held for the construction, no labor contract is concluded with the workers and uh, the workers don't know when or how they will get their salaries. I talked to some of them. Uh, some said that they have been working for over a month but have not uh, received salary yet. Thank you for coming to our studio. Today our guest is the member of Kerr Society Headquarters, Roshan Hajibayla.